let's have this example. Jerry, John Ray, and Jerick decided to fence their vacant lot. If it would take Jerry four days to build the fence, John Ray three days, and Jerick six days, how long would it take them working together? Alright, so given in this particular problem are the number of days that each can finish the task, and that is to fence the vacant lot. Okay, let's highlight that. Okay. Now we are tasked to solve for the number of days for them to work together so they can finish the task. Okay, so that will be our x. The number of days for them to work together or the number of days for them to finish the task together. Alright, one, one of my techniques in solving word problems related to work is by creating a table and then I identify the given as well as the known. So, there are three characters here, Jerry, John Ray and Jerick and we are tasked to solve for the number of number of days for them to work together okay so we need to add another okay together if they work together okay and so the number of days for Jerry to finish the task is four days that's given for John Ray is three days for Jerick is six days Okay. And for them to work together, it's the unknown, so we will write x there. Alright, now suppose they work in one day. So what will be the fractional part of the job that they can do in one day? Okay, so if Jerry can finish the task in four days, if, if, if he work in, in one day, the fractional part of the job that he can do is simply one-fourth of the job. Okay, and for January, that will be one-third or 1 over 3 for Jerry that will be 1 over 6 okay and for if they work together that will be 1 over x all right so let's have the solution here okay so if we're going to add the fractional part that they can do in one day so 1 fourth for January uh, for Jerry rather and 1 third for January and one six for Jerry, that will be equated to the number of days or the number of days or the fractional part that they can do in one day if they work together. So that will be one over x. All right. So we have now the equation. And I think we are now ready to solve for the value of x. Now to get rid of the fraction, we can multiply both sides by the least common denominator. Okay. So what do you think is the least common denominator in this equation? All right. So obviously the LCD here is 12x. All right. So if we divide 12x by 4, that will be 3x times 1. That will give us 3x. Okay. If we divide 12, divide 12x 12 divided by 3, that will give us 4x times 1 equals 4x if we divide 12x by 6 that will give us 2x times 1 equals 2x and if we divide 12x by x that is 12 times 1 that is still 12 Okay, combining like terms, we will have 3 plus 4 plus 2, that's 9x equals 12. Alright, so solving for x, we divide both sides by 9. Alright, and so x here is equal to? 12 over 9 or that is 4 thirds or that is simply 1 and 1 third days meaning if they work together they can finish the task in 1 and 1 third days so let's have this example one machine can complete a job in 10 minutes if the same job is done by this machine and an older machine working together, the job can be completed in 6 minutes. 
how long would it take the older machine to do the job alone? And so we are tasked to solve for the time in the minutes for the older machine to do the job alone. Okay, so that will be our, that will be our unknown. Okay, to do the job alone. So let's write alone. Okay, so the given R, okay, the total time in minutes for the first machine is 10 minutes. For the older machine is X because that's what we're trying to solve for. And when they work together, they can finish it in six minutes. Okay. And so if they are to work in one minute, what will be the fractional part okay, of the job if they work in one minute? So since the first machine can do the job in 10 minutes, so he can do one tenth or one over ten or one over ten of the job okay of the total job and for the older machine that will be one over x and for the uh, for if they work together they can do one over six of the job okay and so to solve for x okay so we will have one over ten or the fractional part in one minute for the first machine to do the job and then plus the fractional part of the older machine in one minute okay equals all right the fractional part in one minute if they work together all right so solving for x we need to multiply both sides by the least common denominator and so what's the least common denominator here okay so obviously it's uh, 60x, okay, 60x, all right, so 60x divided by 10, that will give us 6x times 1 equals 6x, plus 60x divided by x, that is equal to 60 times 1 equals 60, Alright, so 60x divided by 6, that is 10x times 1 equals 10x. Alright, so combining like terms or applying the addition property of equality, we will have here 6x minus 10x equals negative 60. Alright. So simplifying further, we will have 6x minus 10x equals negative 4x equals negative 60. Alright, solving for x, we divide both sides by negative 4. So, equals negative 60 divided by negative 4. And so our x is equal to negative 60 divided by negative 4 is positive 15 okay minutes meaning it will take 15 minutes for the older machine to do the job alone all right so we have the answer let's have the last example randy can paint a car in eight hours john can paint the same car in four hours they start to paint the car together, but after two hours, Randy leaves for lunch and Jan finishes the painting the car alone. So how long does it take Jan to finish the job? Alright, so we are tasked to solve for the number of hours for Jan to finish the job alone after Randy left him for lunch. And so that will be our X, the time for Jan to finish the job. So given are the total number of hours for them to finish a certain job. So for Randy, he can for Randy he can do it in eight hours, and for John he can do it in four hours. Okay. So if we take the fractional part of the job that they can do in one hour, Randy can do one eighth of the job, and John can do one fourth of the job. All right. But the problem states that after two hours, mean to say, Randy and John have worked for two hours already and after two hours randy left for lunch so what will be the fractional part of the job uh 
that Randy and John can do in two hours. So obviously, we simply have to double the fractional part that they can do in one hour. So we simply have to multiply it by two. Okay, the same that we have to do for John. Okay. And since after two hours, um, Randy left for lunch, so what will be the fractional part of the job that they can do in X hours, especially for Jan, since he was left alone? Okay, so obviously in this part, uh, Randy is already eating his lunch. So what will be the X hours? So how long? Okay, will be... John can do the job alone. So, okay. So that will be the fractional part of the job that John can do in X hours. Okay. So, to solve for the number of hours for John to finish the job alone, so we simply have to add the fractional part that he can do in two hours plus the fractional part that John can do in X hours and this will be equated into 1 so let's have it here okay so we have 2 over 8 plus okay 2 over 4 2 times 1 is 2 over 4 plus X times 1 is X so X over 4 equals one all right so to simplify this and to solve for x all right so we can divide both sides by the least common denominator and that is eight. actually you can simplify first 2 over 8 and 2 over 4 before you can uh, solve for the before you look for the least common denominator but we can have it directly okay so 8 divided by 8 that will give us 1 times 2 equals 2. Okay. Plus, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Times 2 is 4. Alright. Plus, 8 divided by 4 is 2 times x is 2x. And 8 times 1 equals 8. Alright. So simplifying this. Okay. So 2 plus 4 is 6. So that will be 6 plus 2x equals 8. So 2x equals 8 minus 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. So 2x equals 2. So, solving for x, we divide both sides by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 equals 2 divided by 2. So, x equals 1. Okay? So, it will take 1 hour, right, for John to finish the job alone. Alright? So, we have the answer.